Hello, hi friends. This is Akash Sen here. Today, I'm going to show you people that how to make an bootable ISO from a files and folders of any operating system. Okay, some people will get the question that what is bootable, friends. The DVDs which are used to install operating system in the computers are bootable. That's why when we keep the DVD inside the drive and restart our computer, it starts booting from the DVD. You people may say that you will just directly copy the files and folders to the DVD, but sorry friends, you can't boot with the DVD. You need to make it as a bootable. One software called PowerISO, which are shows the image of the DVDs which are bootable or non-bootable. You can also download this software from link which is given below. This software can also be used in many ways like writing data on DVD and many more. So I am going to show that software is PowerISO. So we have the setup file here and it is keys provided in this. We can generate the keys by clicking on it and pasting on the software. So I will show that. So I have uh, some files here which are ISO. I can show you that that files are bootable not. See it's a Intel drivers. So when I hit enter on it, it shows that it is a non bootable image. So it is not going to boot. And I have the Windows 8 ISO file here. See it's showing a bootable image. It means when I going to burn these files on DVD, it's going to boot from that okay so for making operating system files with a bootable ISO image you have to download a software called ing burn you can download this from a link which is given below now I'm going to show how to make it okay we have the ing burn software here it is a setup it's free no registration required I'm going to open this software now so it has opened here so for making the files and folders into image ISO bootable you need to click the option here which is called create image from the files and folders so its software is loading it's gonna take some time okay fine create the image file from files and folders hit enter so this is for file selecting browser file we are going to browse a folder I have, I have the folder here windows 7 setup files which is of th sorry going to the properties it is 3.47 GB it's an operating system I'm going to make it as a bootable ISO image okay browse a folder click on a browser folder and it is in already in the desktop so directly jump into windows 7 setup files and select a folder okay the folder has been selected it has got here now we are going to set up a destination source so i just want to keep it in my documents no i am just going to keep it on mm, desktop only so and to rename it windows 7 ISO uh, okay save it so for making it as a bootable you just have to go to the option called advanced here and in the advanced go to the bootable disk tab and you have to mark the make image bootable and no need to touch this it should be known if it's in other place you just make it as known bootable image you have to select a boot image from that folder which have been added here ok so add the boot folder it is in uh, desktop so here it is in the same setup files inside this setup files you will have the folder called boot enter in it and you will find the file called etfs boot this is a file which helps the dvd for booting so select it and hit open so you will see that directly load segment 07c0 has appeared here don't change this and sectors load here you just enter 8 because it windows 7 ok extract boot image ok so don't touch anything here 
just make it as bootable click here pulled so it's going to make the files he is saying to keep any labels or and I just want to keep this hit s and see it's preparing and it's given the all the properties about how many bytes and everything okay so see it started making start buffering and it's just going to take some times of minute I'll just skip that video okay so here yeah, friends the process is almost completed it's 97% now so 98 one time remaining 22 so it's completed now hit ok and close it so I kept the destination file as desktop so I got this file here it's an image file and it's opening with the default software called ISO image so you can see that is a portable image now you can directly burn this operating system into your DVD by hitting burn I don't have a DVD now so sorry thank you friends you can also make this image or install this operating system inside your USB drive you just need to have Windows 7 USB to DVD tool by this you can copy this Windows 7 files into your DVD and boot from the USB drive so there is a software here uh, Windows 7 USB tool it has Windows 7 named but it is also used in Windows 8 and other operating system I am going to browse the file it is in the desktop now so windows 7 iso open it and hit next and click for a usb device keep your usb device here and begin copying you will have a bootable usb device ok thank you friends if you like this video please thumbs up the below button please subscribe my channel take care see you in other video